The continued closure of the U.S.-Canada border during the pandemic has been a, a horrible ordeal for a lot of families who haven't been able to see loved ones in person. For one local woman, it's a different type of frustration as her car remains stuck on the Canadian side. Kim Richardson took an international trip just before the pandemic hit last March. She flew out of Toronto to save some money and parked her car in a lot near the airport. Well, nearly a year later, she still doesn't have her vehicle back. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester joins now to explain how this all happened. This is uh, really unusual to say the least, Hank. Devin, we've covered so many stories within the last year. We've been working to help people on all different fronts. I'll tell you what, this one really took me by surprise. I haven't heard anything like this before. And as you will see, this woman from Metro Detroit is obviously very frustrated. It seemed like a great idea at the time. Fly out of Toronto, save money going overseas. However, what happened next stunned everyone and left Kim Richardson stranded. While we were gone, the pandemic like hit full force and Canada wound up shutting its borders. And um, it, it was logistically, it was a nightmare trying to get home, period. When Kim and her wife left in early March, they parked in a lot just off airport property in Toronto. While they were overseas, the pandemic forced the U.S.-Canadian border to shut down. Kim was rerouted on her return to Detroit Metro. Her car has been trapped near Toronto since then. So I emailed, I emailed probably three or four times um, trying to get a hold of someone. I left multiple messages and finally, um, I finally got a hold of someone last month. The owner of the lot wants roughly $3,000 for parking fees, even though Kim had no way of getting her car. The police won't assist and the embassy has been very slow to respond. I feel like, you know, I'm basically they're extorting money and while well, it's 3000 you know, $2,800 and it's, it's going up by the day. Kim is now looking to her insurance company to assist in any way and we're working to get assistance across the border to try to resolve this situation once and for all. And things now are even more complicated. A new development is that that lot has officially closed, closed up for good, which has made the situation even more difficult. We are now working with officials across the border near Toronto, near the airport, to try to resolve this situation once and for all. It's going to take a while, uh, but the work is being done right now. We will keep you posted. I'm Hank Winchester. Help me, Hank. So unusual, and yet you can see how it all happened and came together. All right, Hank.